How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tag. So you've updated your iPhone to iOS 16, but you regret it. You don't want it anymore. All you want to do is go back to iOS 15. And in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. How to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 16 to iOS 15, the easiest, best and safest way possible. So without further ado, Let's begin. So, as you can see, we'll need a computer for this process, but don't worry because it's fully compatible with both Mac OS and Windows PC. So, it doesn't matter what computer you have, this will work. If you're using a Windows PC, you'll need to have iTunes on your machine. So, if you don't have iTunes installed yet, I'll have a direct link in the description so you can go ahead, download and install the latest version of iTunes. If you already have it, make sure it's updated because this is important as well. If you're doing this on a Mac, which is my case, you don't need to download any software because it's already pre-installed. Okay, so now that we're on the same page, let's continue and all you have to do now is open your favorite browser. It can be Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, doesn't matter, and then open up this website ipsw.me because we're going to download ios 15 from this website because this is the best way to do it if you follow me you know that i've been using ipsw.me for over seven years and they are the best in the game you can trust ipsw no problems okay so now you can choose here if it's an iphone or an ipad because you can follow this exact same process for ipads as well in my case it'll be my iphone so click here and then choose your model. In my case, a 13 Pro Max. Click here, let it load. And then here, where you can see signed IPSWs, that's where we're gonna work with. So as you can see, we just have one version that's signed, which is iOS 15.5 at the recording of this video. If you're watching this video later, it may be 15.6, it may be 15.7 or later. So don't you worry. The only important thing here is to download the green, the checked signed IPSW. Because if you go ahead and download an unsigned IPSW, so red with a cross, as you guys can see here, it won't work. So don't go ahead and download, for example, iOS 15.1 because it just won't work. You need to get a signed version because this means that this version is signed by Apple. So it will work. So again, in my case, 15.5. So let's click here, let it load, and then we can go ahead and download the version, the IPSW file, which is iOS 15.5 in this case. So let's click here on download, let it download, uh, since I have previously downloaded it, I'm going to go ahead and cancel. And this is the file that I have previously downloaded and I have finished. Okay, so wait for a download to finish and then make sure to go ahead and put the IPSW file in the desktop. It's just much easier that way. So you can go ahead, open it up, open the destination folder, go ahead and drag it to the desktop just to make things easier. Okay, now we can close any windows. We don't need anything else. We already have our file. We are ready, good to go. We have iOS 15, let's get started. All you need to do now is get an authentic Apple cable like this one. Go ahead, plug it in to the back of your computer or to the side of your computer and the other end you're gonna plug into your iPhone. It's pretty important that you use an authentic original Apple cable, otherwise the process may not work. So grab your iPhone, Make sure to unlock it. It's pretty important that you unlock it and then plug it in. As you guys can see right here, plug it in, make sure it's charging. And if you get a pop-up asking if you wanna trust this computer, go ahead and trust it. It's important that you trust the computer. We have one last step, which is go into settings and then your Apple ID and then find my, and then find my iPhone right there, as you can see and we have to disable Find My iPhone. So disable it, and then of course, type in your Apple ID password. And now of course, just tap on Turn Off. Let it do its thing, let it load. It may take a while, keep waiting. And then as you can see, turn it off, and now we're good to go, it's off. So now all you have to do is leave your iPhone on the table. Just go ahead, leave it like this, plugged in with, this, with the screen on, unlocked, and then place it on top of the table right next to you and you don't have to play with it anymore. Just leave it like that. 
And now all you have to do is go ahead and open up iTunes. If we're using Windows, go ahead and open up iTunes. If we're using an old Mac, open up iTunes as well. And if we're using a newer, more updated Mac, open up Finder. So open up your software. And although those are different softwares, it's exactly the same. The screen is exactly the same. And the process is exactly the same, regardless of your machine and what version you're running. Okay, so open up iTunes or Finder, and then go ahead and look for your iPhone, which in my case is right here. And then it's gonna load and we are ready to go. And then here is where the magic happens because what you're gonna do is restore your iPhone. And yes, the only way to downgrade your iPhone from iOS 16 to iOS 15 is by restoring it. It's always been like that. It's not only this year, it's always been like that. You'll need to restore your iPhone. So in other words, you will lose all your data, you will lose all your files, you will lose everything because we're gonna restore the iPhone. But of course, don't worry because we can recover everything later from your backup. So after we restore, we're gonna activate our iPhone and then of course choose our iCloud backup or our computer backup no problem, we can recover everything back. That's why it's super important to always back it up because when things like that happen, you can get all your data back from your backups. One thing that's super important though is this will only work if you have an iOS 15 backup because if you wanna go ahead and recover everything from an iOS 16 backup, it won't work because after we downgrade, we're gonna be in iOS 15 so your iOS 16 backup won't be compatible anymore. You need to have a compatible iOS 15 backup to work with your iOS 15 iPhone. Now, all you have to do is click on restore iPhone while pressing on a key on your keyboard. And this will vary depending on your machine. If you're doing this on a Mac, all you have to do is press on the option key, as you can see right here, the option key on your keyboard. So you're gonna press and hold and then click on restore iPhone. If you're doing this on a Windows PC, you're gonna press and hold on the shift key, as you can see right here, press and hold and keep holding and click on the restore iPhone. So click while pressing the key. Since I'm using here a Mac, I'm gonna press and hold the option key, as you can see right here, and then I'm gonna click a normal click right here on restore iPhone. And then, as you can see, this window will pop up, and then it's here on the desktop, and then I can find my IPSW file. I can click on open, and then as you can see, your Mac or your PC will erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 15.5 in this case, and will verify the restore with Apple. So go ahead and restore. And as you can see here, it'll just start extracting the software and the process will be done entirely with the computer and with your iPhone. And you don't need to do anything. Leave your iPhone on the table, as I've mentioned many times, leave uh, iTunes or Finder doing its thing here and just wait, chill, relax. You don't need to do anything. After a few seconds, you'll see on your iPhone, the Apple logo with a loading bar and again, all you have to do is wait. This loading bar will load a few times, your iPhone will automatically restart a few times, and all you have to do is wait. It'll just take a few minutes. After a few minutes, the process will finish on the computer, it'll finish on iTunes, as you can see here, or on Finder, but it'll still continue running here on the iPhone, and leave it plugged until you see this perfectly. As you can see, until you see the hello screen, you gotta leave it plugged in. As you can see, we're already on the hello screen, so we can go ahead and unplug, and we can go ahead and pretty much finish the process. Let me show you what else you need to do. So, all you have to do now is activate your iPhone normally. So put in your language, your country and region, and everything like that. So just set up your iPhone as if it's a brand new iPhone out of the box, and of course, it's already in iOS 15.5, but I'll show you it's in 15.5. So I'll finish setting up, I'll set up the whole thing, and then I'm gonna show you I'm back in 15.5. Oh, and by the way, right here on this setup, on this first setup process is where, of course, you can recover all your data from a backup. So you can go ahead, type in your Apple ID and all your info and select your compatible 
backup if you have one okay so as i said i'm gonna set it up real quick and i'll be back to show you that this iphone is in ios 15 now and so after the setup process as you can see here i have all of my apps being downloaded so my backup was successful of course all of my data is here i haven't lost absolutely anything and if we go to settings and we scroll down to general and then about as you can see ios 15.5 exactly the version we've downloaded so of course the downgrade process was successful so that's it that's literally it hope you enjoyed the video hope it was helpful to you and we'll see you on the next video as usual bye bye